We're going to start from the start. <laughs> okay, we're going to go. We are going to start from the start. No question about it. Now, we call you Sochi. Yes. Okay, but is that what your mother called you? No, Elena. My, my name, uh, we, we, we put it, uh, when I joined the, the URN and I they put me so so cheesy because I I was working in, in other countries and and so para que no me descubrieran que so that, they wouldn't, so so that they wouldn't discover me they gave me that name Soshi. como no me el nombre de 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 indi es mexicano it's a mexican it's a mexican name es como los compañeros que estaban haciendo revolución allí en so since the, the comrades who had made the Cuban Revolution had visited or had been in Mexico. And that's why they... So you became Sochi. What year was that? My name is Elena Supal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Elena, my name oh, is in Elena. Le Sochi? In in, in in fue como en el 78, 79, Cuba. 78, 79 here in Cuba. How long did you get involved with the so long you've been living I say, You want me to tell you a long story? Yes, a long, long story. story. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Start Very from, long story. Start from the yeah, tell it all. <laughs> Good. One hour so, eleven minutes. You got an hour and eleven minutes. So that's um do you might do you, do you want the interpretation? Please. She will, she will, Please. Yeah. Yeah. Sí. Sí. De todas maneras, no me mire a mí. Usted siempre ah, lo mira yeah, a él yeah, y yeah. yo lo voy a traducir, no se preocupe. Okay. Este, un grupo de exilados cubanos llegaron a Guatemala en 1956. So a group of Cuban exiles got to Guatemala in 1956. And then, eh, yo conocí a uno de ellos, bueno, conocí al grupo y después me casé con uno de ellos. So I met the group and then I married one of the members of the group. And then, para cortar la historia. To, to make porque, a long story short. Porque, porque yo de, de allí que lo conocí, yo me fui a Costa Rica a terminar una beca que tenía. So then I went back to, uh, when I met him, I went back to, went back to, school, to Costa Rica to finish a scholarship that I, been, I had been given. Entonces, él, el, 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 era mi novio, el cubano se fue a Estados Unidos. So the Cuban who was my boyfriend went uh, to, to the United States. Y de ahí, de ahí, él pasó al año y medio cuando yo iba a terminar, pasó por Costa Rica. So a, a year and a half when I, when I was about to finish, he went back to Costa Rica. Él fue a Costa Rica y de ahí yo terminé el año. So I finished my year uh, there and I went back then to Guatemala. De allí llegamos y nos casamos. So we, we got there and we got married. Y después salimos para México donde estaba el resto del grupo de cubanos. And we left for Mexico where the rest of the Cubans were. Entonces yo, yo me envuelvo con el grupo que está en, en México. So I got involved with the group of Cubans who, uh, who that was in Mexico. Y de allí ellos me, me piden colaboración, colaboración con el grupo. So then at the point they ask me for collaboration, for collaboration for that group. Y me piden viajar a Cuba como, como correo que le llamaban. So uh, they ask me to come to Cuba as a carrier. En, entonces yo vengo a hacer un trabajo con el grupo. Que estaba haciendo sabotaje aquí en Cuba. So I came to, to Cuba to work with a group that was carrying out some sabotages here in Cuba for the revolution. That, that is in... That is, eso fue en marzo del 58. That was back in March of 1958. Entonces el grupo, por, por tanto peligro que había aquí en Cuba, este, el, el, los que estaban trabajando me piden Porque el grupo que se quedó en México iban a salir de Campeche como había hecho Fidel en, en un barco más después de Fidel que sería en el 58. Este, y entonces 
Yo vine a arreglar la llegada del grupo So a, a group that was in Mexico would leave Mexico for Cuba uh, from Campeche the same way that Fidel did it in 56, they would do the same thing in 58. So I came to Cuba to make sure uh, to do the arrangements for the arrival of, the, of that group. Entonces el, el, el responsable que estaba aquí en Cuba al frente del, de los sabotajos me dice, mira, regresa inmediatamente a México y le dicen que no hay posibilidad de entrar porque están las costas vigiladas, había okay, mucha... Ok, they told me, please go, go back to Mexico right now and let them know that we, uh, they cannot come to Cuba because all the coast uh, areas, coastal areas are being guarded and... Entonces yo, yo me regreso a México y ya el grupo grande estaba allá y el que era mi compañero en ese momento, este, él me espera y yo le explico lo que me dicen que por qué yo me regreso. So I went there and explained to the group and also to my former uh, husband who was there and explained to him why I went back. Entonces él, 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 él le avisa al grupo que lo que habían dicho. Y, me, y todos están en, en como que en desacato, están, dice no, este, nosotros vamos a entrar a Cuba a como de lugar. And they were kind of, kind of disobeying and they said, no, 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 we're going to go to Cuba, we're going to land in Cuba no matter what. Entonces, este, yo le digo, bueno, yo me regreso para Guatemala porque yo estaba como, como un poco quemada por todo el... So I went, I went back to Guatemala because I kind of I was kind of burned out up here because of all the, all those movements I had to make. Entonces ellos me piden me piden de que no que yo tengo que regresar a Cuba porque no tienen a quién mandar eran los 58 ya. So they asked me to go back to, to go back to Cuba, come back to Cuba because they didn't have anyone else and it was already the 58, right. 1958. Entonces yo regreso y esperábamos de que la huelga de abril que estaba convocado por el movimiento revolucionario iba a caer en Batista. So I, w I went back and I expected the April of 1958 general strike that was going to be a, a coup for Batista, a revolutionary coup for Batista. Ent entonces, este, en los que estaban haciendo mi, mi contacto en La Habana lo agarran preso. Oh, my contact in Havana went to jail, he was taken prisoner. Y entonces, este, cuando está preso, se, este, creyeron que yo también había, entonces yo voy a verlo en un espacio que vemos y me dice, te vas mañana para Cuba, para, para México, porque no sé si estás fechado a ver, tienes que regresar y me regreso. So they told me that, that, that same day, you have to go to Mexico because maybe you have been spotted, so you have to go to Mexico, and she left for Mexico. Entonces pasó toda la etapa de, de, de ese tiempo esperando este, los compañeros presos acá, los otros se regresaron al Distrito Federal del Campeche. So the, some of the comrades were taken prisoners here, others went back to, 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 to DF, to, the, to Campeche. Entonces, este, es, esperando re, qué iba a pasar y ellos muertos a a reunirse, a hacer contacto con la banda, a hacer contacto, a ver cómo iba a entrar y cómo estaba la situación viendo eso. And they were trying to see how to come back to Cuba, what context to find to go back to Cuba. Entonces pasa, pasan los meses y yo salgo embarazada. So months later I got pregnant. Y, y, y me agarra ahí el, el 50, el 5, el, 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 en diciembre del, cuando está entrando Fidel aquí a Cuba, este, nos avisan a nosotros y entonces en México se forma el revuelo, cogen al aeropuerto, cogen los aviones, la embajada y todo. Y a mí me, este, me sacan para el aeropuerto para ver si yo puedo viajar, pero yo estaba ya a punto de con hospital y todo. So, para ¿El diciembre de qué año fue eso? El diciembre del 59. So, de, de 58, casi para... 58, yeah. sí, 58, 59. Nos llaman en la madrugada para decirnos que se fue a Batista. Y se so, a the mid died, the, the last day, the late, late December of 1958, we were called to, 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 to let us know that Batista had left and there was a big, uh, a, a, like a kind of an unrest about that in Mexico, trying to get on, on planes to Cuba, but she was too, too pregnant to come back. Uh, y, y después están en el aeropuerto, están, llegan cubanos, que yo no sé dónde habían salido los cubanos, y todos 
están en una atmósfera y yo estaba, me dijo, tenía el médico mío que me atendía fue el, el ministro de salud pública que estaba exilado también y me dice tranquila, tranquila el Entonces, cubano que estaba exilado en México sí, fue, fue después fue el ministro de salud pública el que me atendió a mí durante yeah. mi embarazo que estaba exilado so many, many Cubans went to the airport to come back to Cuba I mean, I, I, I don't know say this in first person I don't know where all so many Cubans came from being in Mexico so all I got there and I was there with my, my, my physician who was a, a, a Cuban who attended, attended to me during my pregnancy and then uh, this person also this physician became the Minister of Health of Cuba later on <laughs> Está la señora embarazada que tiene que viajar porque está al dar a luz. Entonces avisan, hay un primer avión que sale, pero la señora no se puede ir porque todavía se está peleando en La Habana y no ha llegado Fidela. Ok, there was a plan that was leaving and they said the lady cannot leave for Havana because still uh, uh, in Havana uh, they're, they're fighting and Fidel hasn't gone into Havana, to the capital. Entonces, este... En el segundo avión, creo que fue el segundo, el segundo avión sale el 5, eso fue el 3, sale el 5 y yo vengo en el segundo avión. El día 5. El día 5. This is Maggie, I'm, I'm answering her. Parece que esto es una hora más de Nemoy. So on the plane that came to Cuba then on January the 5th, I got on that plane and I came to Havana. Y entonces ahí me esperaba una ambulancia que me lleva a maternidad a la luz. So, and there was an ambulance there, they were waiting for me to take me to the OBYN hospital to deliver my baby. Y, y bueno, ya, ya los dos días ya, ya yo salgo de, de, con la niña que había tenido y estaba la bulla de la llegada de Fidel y yo en el hospital y sigo ahí y cosas así y, y todo y bueno. So I, w I was in the hospital the, for two, two, three days, and then I, I, I was hearing when I was there with my, my girl, baby girl, hearing the happiness of the people because of the triumph of the revolution, the arrival of Fidel to Havana. So anyway, I gave, I gave birth, and I stayed in Cuba to live. Bueno, pasó el tiempo. Yo, yo me quedé en la, me quedé siempre en Havana. Tuve dos hijos acá. So I stayed in Havana, and I had two children here. Pero, al, a ver, yo al, al tiempo yo me, me desvinculo, me separo, de, me divorcio de, de, del que fue mi pareja. So, sometime later I got divorced, uh, I mean I separated from the, the, my, my husband. Entonces, este, en esos años, en el, en, en, el, en el 50 y pico, ya había movimientos revolucionarios y llega el de Guatemala acá también. A visitar. Llega a Guatemala, se establece como URNG, la, la Unidad Revolucionaria Nacional Guatemalteca. So the National Revolutionary Unit of Guatemala was created also in the late 50s. Entonces yo la, yo, yo a mí, alguien me, se enteran de que hay una guatemalteca acá y me buscan y me buscan y yo integro. Oh, then somebody found out that there was a Guatemalan in Cuba and they looked for me, looked for me until they found me and I became a member of that other organization in Guatemala. So, the 78, to the la paz in Guatemala. Ya, o sea, estuve, estuve en Cuba desde 78 hasta, no, hasta, el, hasta, hasta el 96. Hasta el 97. 97. So she was in Cuba from 74 until 1997. Uh, Entonces, bueno, yo aquí hice eh, eh, el movimiento revolucionario guatemalteco, igual que conocerán que ha hecho muchas cosas. Yo estuve en congresos, yo estuve de visita en muchos países. En, so as part of this organization, I was at meeting, the different meetings, I was at different missions of different, different countries. Estuve en Checoslovaquia, en Granada, en Libia, en Libia, Hungary, 
este, por invitaciones al movimiento revolucionario. And that was because I, uh, of the, this uh, revolutionary movement I uh, was invited and I represented it. Yo en representación a Guatemala. I was representing Guatemala. Entonces cuando se firma la paz en el 97, yo voy a ver a mi familia después de 40 años. Estar so aquí. after 40 years of being in Cuba in 97, I went to then uh, um, see my family in Guatemala. Entonces allí uh -huh. veo mi familia y, y los exilados que había había estado de derechos humanos exilados en México por la situación de la represión. Yo había trabajado con ellos en México. So I saw some of the exiles who had been who had been in Mexico because of the repression of what I, I met them at that point. Entonces saben que yo llego me contactan que inmediatamente hace falta que me me ponga a trabajar y empiezo a trabajar en derechos humanos de Guatemala con con el movimiento que había regresado del exilio. Okay, right away then I began to work for the human rights in Guatemala with those exiles that had been in, in, in Mexico. Y entonces, bueno, este, yo había ido a visitar a mi familia, pero al estar los compañeros, y, y el, el partido me dice que me quede porque hace falta mi trabajo de, con la experiencia so que había tenido the, en, the... en Cuba y después. Y, So the party, in Cuba, the party asked me to stay there because uh, to, 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 to help with this human rights movement because of all the experience that I had gained in Cuba. So at that point my children were already married so I had come back and forth. Con nuestro partido fui candidata a diputada por mi zona en Guatemala. So I was a candidate for my, in my uh, representing my zone for the, for the party. Uh -huh. en, entonces hice un trabajo, me quedé, me fui quedando y me quedé 20 años en Guatemala, viniendo, yendo y viniendo. So then I went back and forth for 20 years, but basically I was based in Guatemala. Entonces allá el partido cubano, eh, por la zona donde yo viví, llegaron los médicos cubanos allá. Y entonces yo hice un trabajo, lo llevé a los médicos cubanos al, a las, al municipio donde yo vivía, con, ya conocía la embajada cubana, y hice un trabajo con los médicos ahí, muy fuerte, porque ya está el gusto de José Martí. So we, when the, the first Cuban collaborators got to Guatemala, I took them to, to, to the place where I was living, and I did a, a lot of work with them, even a bust of José Martí was, was put up there in, in, in the area. Y bueno, eso es... Eso es la, la historia ahora que es, este, ya pienso que con ya la edad que tengo, ya la, las enfermedades, me, me he vuelto, está mi hijo acá y me piden regresar y regresar hace unos meses para acá. Okay. So my son, well, now, now being my age and with the diseases that I have, and my son here, they have asked me to come here and be with them. Let me ask you, when did you first leave Guatemala? ¿Cuándo salió de Guatemala por primera vez? Por, uh, por primera vez yo salí en, en agosto del año 57 hacia México. August of 57 uh, to Mexico. Okay, so this is after Arbenz was <coughs> yeah. the coup. Después de Arbenz. Arbenz. Sí, después de Arbenz. Arbenz fue en el 54. Arbenz fue en 54. Sí, sí. Y luego people. Some people left because of that, I assume. Right? Algunas personas se fueron debido a eso. Oh, sí. Because sí. of the coup. Uh, yeah. Por debido a la compañía. Hablaba de mucho con Mike. Debo hablar con Mike. Aquí, hay una persona de esa época que vivía en Cuba. Así que, en cierta manera, lo que la CIA ganó por sí misma por deposar a Arbenz con el coup was Cuba. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Cuba is, a, is, is perhaps a child of the yes, coup in uh, Guatemala. <laughs> Cuba is the problem from, from everybody. Yes. <laughs> yes. So were there a lot of international people involved in the Cuban Revolution? Because you're a, the only non, you and Che are the only non-Cubans that I know was involved with the Cuban Revolution. That's what she's saying, a lot of Yeah. So, <laughs> there were a lot of people from international people in Cuba? Yes, yes. 
Wow. So, so when did you when did you first meet Fidel? I I meet Fidel when I when it's, it's an event in the so yeah, the women's conferences, the women events that were celebrated here in Cuba. I, I, then I met him. Many times I met Fidel. Several times at the at different women's events. Yeah. Very. Cool. Say it's interesting, <clears throat> in a way. <clears throat> the Cuban Revolution is a child of the coup in Guatemala. You want some, some what? You want some, some water? water? Uh, I'm good now, thank you. Yeah. When did you when did you and how did you get involved with revolutionary struggle? Is it unusual for a South Asian woman? to be involved in a revolutionary struggle. Huh? When Cuba? Or? Yeah, in Cuba, Guatemala. How did you start out? Well, I I was 17 years old when I got in touch with the Cuban rich in Guatemala, like I see now. Exiles. Mm -hmm. At 17. Did your parents know about this? No. <laughs> I, I, never, 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 never. So what prompted you? Why? Why did you want to do that? Why, why, why I get involved? Yes, yes. Because I este, yo conocí al que fue mi compañero. Era, tenía 17 años, ellos llegaron allá y una cuestión de de que ellos fueron a visitar la escuela de comercio donde yo estudiaba y entonces contacté con okay, él. Ok, when the person who was my husband went to the uh, commerce school where I was uh, studying, they went to visit and I met him and I got involved. This became ex-husband, so I heard that transition during the yeah, yeah. early part of the yeah, narrative. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> y, y, uh, uh, y después este, que nos fuimos a México, estaba todo el grupo de los estilados donde so then I was part of the whole uh, group that was uh, with the exiles. Yeah. Like, like, era como un grupo de apoyo a los exiliados. No, los exiliados, sabes que los exiliados se iban del país para que no los apresaran. Sí, sí, pero ustedes estaban ahí todavía como apoyándolos también a ellos. Sí, exactamente. Yeah, it was like a support group for the Cuban exiles. Entonces, en, en, era interesante en ese tiempo porque en Guatemala había un restaurante que el dueño era cubano. So, in that point, at that moment, there was a, there was a restaurant in Guatemala whose owner was a Cuban. Y entonces ahí se reunían todo el, el grupo de exilados a, 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 a delucidar sus cosas. So, y, a group of exiles would meet there to just discuss yes. their, their matters. Y entonces a, ahí fuimos, este, e, e, eso fue un empezar para mí. That was just a beginning for me. Because I, yo no tenía ningún contacto Because político. Because I didn't have any political contact in that moment. When, when and how did you meet Anna? Yo me encuentro con Anna aquí en Cuba. So I met Anna here in Cuba. In, in the, in the 90s, around the 80s. But the Guatemala representation was, was already in Cuba. Una, una sede, we, had, we, had, we had an office, like a seat, for the representation. And several, of the, the, there were several women representing the, the different movements uh, here in Cuba. So they were trained. We attended here in Cuba. They attended to the, they fixed to the, the, the war wounded. Que fueron apresados los compañeros y se fueron a la guerra. 
y un grupo que ya los buscaron en Guatemala vinieron para acá y nos juntamos en el So, so a group of people who were being uh, persecuted, I mean, who had been uh, looked for by the government, and they had to, to, to come to Cuba, to escape and come to Cuba. Um, I, I know certainly you have a, a theoretical understanding of why success in Cuba, not in Guatemala or Mexico, revolution. Um, but from living and being in these different places, are there things that feel different that explain why uh, Guatemala has not had revolution yet, and Mexico has not, and Cuba has, and has gone so far. Does that make any sense? Sí, básicamente lo que está preguntando es por qué no, no hay la no de las condiciones para hacer una revolución en México, una revolución en Guatemala, y ha, ha, ha ocurrido en Cuba. I'm looking more for like a gut, you know, experiential response than it. Más una experiencia personal suya, por qué no hay no no una una revolución como la de Cuba, Guatemala, la de México. Pues mira, en, en el caso de Guatemala, cuando nosotros, el grupo de, de, se firma la paz y podemos entrar a Guatemala. So, when, like in the case of Guatemala, when the, the, the treat, uh, the peace treaty was signed and we were able to get into Guatemala. Yo no pude regresar a Guatemala porque Cuba y Guate, rom, Guatemala rompió relaciones con Cuba por ser comunista. I wasn't able to go back to Guatemala because oh, Durante Cuba, 40 Gua, años. Guatemala broke a diplomatic relations with Cuba for 40 years because we were, uh, the Cuba was a communist country. Yeah. Yeah. Understood. Y, y entonces, ¿por qué no se ha dado esa revolución? Porque, porque la gente tiene una esperanza con la izquierda, pero le tienen miedo el capitalismo, que le van a quitar las cosas, que le van a le, todo va a ser del Estado y se, se magnifican las cosas que pasan. So people vida. are afraid of why the revolution hasn't happened because they're afraid that the state will take away everything from them and they just magnify what can happen in, with the revolution. Y con toda esta situación que hay de, de Venezuela, la gente, la, la, la gente entiende en Guatemala hay médicos cubanos que hacen una labor social y les dicen que mira, es, eh, eh, pero la gente no acaba de decir, yo me paso para lo social. La gente no, le tienen miedo a las cuestiones sociales, aunque sepa que Porque el capitalismo, el que tiene, el que, el, hay un capitalismo grande en Guatemala. So there's a big level of capitalism in Guatemala, even though there are Cuban doctors there who explain about the Cuban reality, they don't, they don't want to go and jump to the other side, the social part of the revolution. And this was after many years of isolation. I mean, what, when Cuba rose first, everyone said, stay away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, literally. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Um, you know, you're talking about the living condition of the ordinary people in Cuba versus Guatemala. Could you do a comparison for me? The condition of life of the people in Guatemala and Cuba. Can you do a comparison? Well, we all know that the comparison, especially the morning, they can study, they have free health. Este, hay, un, hay una labor social. Mira, ahorita pasó con el tornado hace un mes. So in Cuba there's health care for the people, education. There's a lot of work that is done for the people. And the example of the tornado that went back up near here recently. Ya, ya el gobierno cubano atiende a esas zonas directamente. So the Cuban government is attended to those persons who were affected directly. <coughs> Mira, en Guatemala pasó el... el el terremoto que afectó parte de una parte de Guatemala, allí mismo, que todavía están en carpas lo, lo, hace tres años ya. So for three years people have been living in tents, the people who were the victims of an of earthquake that happened in, Venezuela, in, in Guatemala, they're still living in, in tents because the state doesn't do anything with them, for them. Y entonces es una gran comparación que hay, hay que ver. That is just an example of that my comparison between the two countries. Que nunca va a ser 
y, y se dice como en un país capitalista le interesan ellos y ellos y, y el pobre como ha pasado en muchos países. So the poor doesn't matter for the capitalists. He's a capitalist country after all. You live in Livingston. Yes. Okay. Has your family always live in live in Livingston? Yes, my family live in Livingston. Okay. We are seven sisters. <laughs> and the, all of them died already. Okay, you're the last. Uh, on, only I live. <laughs> But you have still have families. Yes, in, in my, all my 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 niece, my nephews. I I have a big family for my sister in Livingston, so you could go back any time. <laughs> Anna just went to Livingston, you know. Oh yeah. Yes, she went, and my, she write me. She phoned me from my my niece house. <laughs> she she went and. She was a stay. Yes. Yeah. So are you gonna are you gonna stay here permanent? Are you going back to Guatemala? Yes. I may go uh, next month to Guatemala. When? I I have I have my boleto my boleto tickets to, my tickets. To what me. days? What what did they uh, In April. When in April? I know, I don't know. Right? <laughs> the, the last days are okay. Okay, we're gonna be for Easter in, in Guatemala. Oh, that, that Anna told me that <laughs> Gabby will be here, there, and me. Okay. Yes, I, I speak to she yeah. three years, three days ago. Yeah, yeah. No. So yeah, we we come so, taking taking Alicia and Maxine. Oh. And let's see, we're coming back on on Monday, and I think we're going Wednesday or Thursday. It, it, so we're gonna be there for Easter, uh -huh. which is on a Sunday, because you know Maxine wants to see all the procession and the oh, yes. what they call the floral stuff that they. <laughs> yeah that they do. They decorate the streets on these With flowers, right? Yeah, with flowers and sawdust yeah. and they make these fantastic designs. And uh, you know, they do the pageant carrying the the <laughs> cross or the coffin wow. down, down the street. So we go we go for that. So it's a good time. So we've Stretching, you stretching the be a week in Guatemala? Maxine doesn't go in a place for a week. We're going for several days. I think we're going either Wednesday or Thursday. Uh-huh. And we're coming back Monday. Wow. Which is long. Because first she was planning on going like on Friday and coming back on Sunday. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Do you actually get off the plane? <laughs> yeah. As soon as you get off the plane, you turn around and you go back. <coughs> but I think I pinched a, yeah. I pinched a few days. So good, you will take him to Cuba. This is the first time. <laughs> no, no, this is we've been there three times. Oh, three times. Oh, three times. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. What's up? Uh, First time was two, well, three years ago. Uh, yes. um, his, when Max is a doctor, uh -huh. he's my friend. My wife was sick. Uh -huh. uh, they were coming around and you know helping me, and my wife died October of 2016. Uh -huh. So the funeral was on Saturday. On Monday, he calls me up. Doctor Max wrote a prescription. I have to take you to Havana. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, and a month later we went, and um, then it turned out it was the same time around when Fidel passed. It was, we got here December 1st, 2016. Yeah, we so. booked, 
in October. One of the first flight when it was scheduled to have <coughs> direct flights from New York. No. So we said, yeah, let's get on one of those planes. We'll that. Yeah. yeah. So we, we came down to see what it was like. That was nice. Yeah. Easy. Real nice. Are, are you reduced? You're not so fat. No, I'm still fat. No, you're reduced. Aren't you? I hope so. I am yes. trying. I don't feel it. Maxine yes. doesn't eat meat. No carne. No. No polo. No <laughs> pollo. No pollo. And so she comes to Cuba. Yes. And she says, I can't find anything to eat because now I'm a vegan. Uh, yes. No fish. No, no, if, no, no. fish. If it, if, if it, listen, if it had a, if it, if it, if it has, <coughs> if it has a face, uh -huh. if it had a parent, okay. Adopted? <laughs> Adopted or wow. if it, if it walks, I guess if it talks. <laughs> can't eat much. I, I, I don't eat it. And the reason is, you know, a couple of year, couple of years ago, she was walking, and she was doing what I was doing. Suddenly, she was get tired, and winded, and out of breath. Now, for years, that has been happening to me. So she said to the cardiologist. I need a stress test. So they started to give her the stress test. Yes. She couldn't do it. So she said, I need catheterization. So they, so they went in and uh, they did the, you know, the, 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 no, no, the catheterization. Oh. And they see that her arteries, like five of them, were blocked. Wow. She could have had a heart attack in a minute. Wow. So the doctor said, "Oh, well, stop, stop the procedure. I want to schedule an open heart surgery for you to do bypass. And she says, no way. If you're gonna do a bypass, that's gonna put me out of business for three, four, five, six months. Can't do it. I got you know patients to see. I gotta work. So he said, okay, I'll try to do some stents on you. So he he went in and he put in the stents. Now, in solidarity with her, I said, okay, if she's gonna have this this. This, op, this, you know, thing, catheterization. catheterization, I'm going to do it because when I was in the hospital after the Doris Man incident, after I got beaten up by the police, they did the exam and they say that one of my arteries were like 75% blocked and they wanted to go in and do this procedure and I said, no way. So they went in. They did the procedure on me. Here I'm the one complaining. Can't breathe. I was fine. <laughs> My <laughs> everything comes back. Men, big babies. Yeah, yeah. Know, Look, looking good. good. Yeah. So they did the stents on her, and then they give her a medicine she had to take for a year, and now she stopped taking that, and she still had on medication, but uh, she's okay. She's okay. Just holding up. Alicia, Alicia style. She plays basketball. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> got oh yes. Pictures. We got pictures of her here. Let me show you. Let's see. It's in here somewhere. Guatemala people. They always small world. <laughs> New York. It's the food in New York. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, she's a. Didn't work on me though. Big Guatemala. <laughs> she's like five foot three inches tall. Let's see. And, and what is she? Good time flies. Yeah. Mm. 
show you a picture from where is it? If I can find it. It turns out last year was exactly the same days. I, it's by accident. So, which is nice because when I go home, instead of being cold, it's just starting to get warm now. And, and I kind of missed the last part of winter, which I'm glad to miss. I don't like winter. Because there's a game they wanted to see. She's all, all excited. I have to see this game tonight. Her favorite team.